awesome animals. Hello, everyone. Today we'll be traveling to China and we'll be talking about the Pekingese. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. Originally bred as companion dogs to the ancient Chinese imperial family, Pekingese have historically been revered as sacred in China. According to one legend, their lion shrunk to miniature size by the Buddha. The Pekingese is surely one of the oldest canine breeds to be present today in the world, and it is believed to be originated around 2,000 years ago. Pekingese dogs were bred for centuries to be the cherished companions of imperial family of China. Today, they're still cherished family companions and show dogs to greet everyone they meet with dignity and grace. Even though these are purebred dogs, you may find them in the care of shelters or rescue groups. Pekingese are very loving and affectionate with their family, but aloof, almost wary of strangers. The characteristic makes them excellent watchdogs. They like to bark when strangers approach. Some Pekingese tend to bark too much, so it's a good idea early on to teach someone to stop. The Pekingese is heavy for his size, with a stocky muscular body. He is 6 to 9 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs 7 to 14 pounds. Pekingese has some health conditions that can be a concern, especially if you aren't cautious about whom you buy from. They include brachycephalic airway syndrome, which causes breathing difficulty, intervertebral disc disease, eye diseases, early onset heart murmurs, and syringomelia. The Pekingese needs to be brushed several times a week and requires occasional baths. If not cared for properly, the fur can become matted. Some Pekingese owners also trim the fur above the eyes to help the dog see and clip the coat in hot weather for the dog's comfort. Pekingese also shed seasonally. All dogs should get enough activity to stay physically and mentally healthy. But since Pekingese were bred for companionship, not sport, you will need to take them running for miles every day. A couple of moderately long walks per day should be enough. Bred to thrive in the long cold winters of Beijing, Pekingese does well when the temperature drops. Some Pekingese owners travel with ice packs to keep their pup comfy. The Pekingese Club of America notes that, like all flat-nosed breeds, Pekingese can have trouble breathing. Reputable breeders will select their breeding dogs with this in mind, producing dogs with the best chances of respiratory health. Thanks to their looks and intelligence, Pekingese have become famous for their performances at dog shows, particularly in confirmation. The Pekingese is tied for the fourth most wins at Westminster, having won four times. Pekingese were bred to resemble Fu dogs, which are Chinese guardian lions. They were available exclusively to your royalty, with the punishment of death should a person be found with one. It was the British who first brought the Pekingese to the rest of the world, which happened when the troops were looting the Imperial Palace in 1860. They took five of the dogs home and even gave one to Queen Victoria. At the time, only those in high society had access to the breed. Because of their small size and fierce personality, the peaks were also used as miniature guard dogs by some of the Chinese emperors. These canines were tiny enough to hide inside the sleeves of these emperors and whenever they sensed any potential threat near their owner, these canines would come out of their sleeves and would start barking at the possible threat to startle or scare them off. Thanks to the great stubbornness, the peaks are not the kind of canines that are very easy to train. These pooches like to think on their own way and take their own decisions, and because of that, they don't respond that well when they are being taught new things by their owners. But if they are trained from an early age through the means of positive reinforcement, when their training process can become a lot easier and trouble-free. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!